matches in a row. Oh, no. That's it. Oh, oh my Ozzy. fault. He gets back on. He came back. Just barely. Oh, right. Ozzy got no, a 10. It's, it's, it's the mark that it's all going to be about grabs here. Ken gets the first. Ken oh. has the lead, but Ozzy can come back with a combo and uh, get him with a wow. spike. But you see that? Okay. I think he's going to grab it. He might have a chance, but Ken just keeps getting him first. There it is. Uh-oh. Use it as in. Keep guessing. If Ken makes a mistake right there, he'd get tippered in the... Oh, oh. oh. that's a tipper. Do it, Ozzy. Ken do made it, a mistake Ozzy. by jumping so early. Oh, my God. Oh! oh. And Ozzy oh. pulls it off. Oh, yeah. Ozzy, at like 1.30 on his last talk, just brought it back. It was the greatest comeback, in my opinion, of all time. People will point to videos where there's a stock difference of a greater comeback. But when Ozzy beat Ken and that Marth ditto, that was out of control. And then ended up like two stocking him last round, so he won pretty solidly. So that alone remains the only time Azen's ever bested Ken in a tournament ever. And the, the fashion that he did it in, like that's that's one hell of a way to break a mental block. Let me tell you that. Okay, DJ beats M2K, so that sets up Ken versus M2K first round of losers, and Ken loses. It wasn't fun anymore pretty much like it became like a job more more so than you know actually playing the game and having fun I was getting older I was traveling way too much uh, I don't think my body could take it as much like at first my prime days like when I first started um, I could go on smash for hours and hours and hours hours literally without even sleep three days straight playing smash after two three years of doing it it just, it just takes a toll on you.